Welcome to the Magnus Ver Magnusson Strongman Classic. We already done one event, was, was a stone press. And Ather Ingolson Melstead equaled the record and got the prize, a special prize for winning the stone press. Now we are out over to a super yoke and a farmer's walk medley. We got this unbelievable nice super yoke made by my friend Richard Looney in Ireland. And that's going to be loaded up to 360 kilos. The athletes have to carry it. This then they'll pick up these stones. These stones are the same stones as from the Black Beach here in Iceland. And uh, called the Black Stones. They're about 140 kilos each. So it's the same thing, same setup. They have to carry it nine meters. They can put it down and bring it back. Now the athletes have 75 seconds to complete the co full course. What do you think of this, Forbes? I think this is going to be, as you can see, the yoke is slightly uphill, so they'll be fighting to get it up the hill, and then it'll try and run away with them on the way back down the hill. The farmers is going to be real awkward looking at them, the thickness of the stones, they're going to bang off your legs, so we'll just need to wait and see how. And it was supposed to be 20 meters up and 20 meters down. Uh, we had to adapt because of uh, snow and now rain. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be still exciting. So let's go. First athlete from Greenland, Kim Oljak Lorentzen. Oh, he's just set, getting set, getting himself ready. Getting the final instructions from Bruno, the tough referee here. The One, two. Come on. It's about 360 kilos. Come on. Come on. No tracking. No tracking. Good. Come on, Keep going. All right. Let's go. Come on. There's a little wave. Still left. It's almost there. Almost there. All right. Now turn around and bring it back. What do you think about that, Forbes? I think it looks it looks pretty good. It, it shows you can't take big steps because you're going up the hill and the front's digging in. So the, probably the, the athlete that will do best in this event is the athlete that will take smaller steps and keep it more stable up and back. He's almost there. Okay. Now he's off to the farmers. Now, like I mentioned, these are not irregular farmers. These dig into your legs. Surprise, surprise, you invented the, the stones on those handles, so I wouldn't expect it to be easy. <laughs> he's got 10 seconds left. Is he going to call it the day? Five. Yeah, he's finished. he's finished. All right, give him a good hand here. So now we'll reset. Next athlete will be Lorenzo Lorenzo Lorda from Argentina. Okay, 
Það eru 18 plús, 18 plús 1 og 20. Til upp. Nei, 18. Já, 18 með 20. Þannig að það er fyrir þetta. Já, þessu plúsaði sannar. Já. Þessu plúsaði sannar. Já. So, Kim's distance was 19.20. This is no easy task. Kim, how do you feel after this? Man, you're killing us. <laughs> this is awful. But, yeah, I'm... Very glad to try this one. It's a new experience for me. It's not a flat surface. You have to go uphill and then down. It's, it's there's snow in it, slippery. It's a nightmare, but yeah, I'm happy to try this. So basically, great fun. <laughs> yeah. So next athlete from Argentina. Dr. Sir Lawrence Lorda. He's set, getting set up. How do you think he will do here, Forbes? Just with seeing him underneath the yoke there, I think Lawrence has made a mistake. I don't think he's going to be lifting this yoke high enough off the ground. So I think it's going to dig in a lot more than what he expects it to do. Yeah, I think he needs to have a lower pickup on it. Exactly. There's the problem right there because it's uphill and it's only two inches off the ground. It's going to dig in. He's not going to make it to the top of the hill. He needed a lower pick up to give himself more clearance from the ground to the bottom of the yoke. He's just making this harder for himself, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, big time. He's closing up to the uh, nine metres. Yeah, he's actually having to put the bar higher up his neck, which is obviously making it harder for himself. It should be a bit easier than back down the hill for him. All right, he's done. No, he didn't do himself any favours there. No, but it's st it still a good effort. He, he, he made the mistake of no measuring the apparatus up before he lifted it. Yeah. Well, no matter the hidden name, Frau. Mæli um alltaf framan í. Alltaf framan í tæki. Það er hinum megin. Hinum megin. Mæli um alltaf framan á. Svendar þeim megin. Þetta er hérna megin. Það er alltaf hérna megin. No, no, look at me. Look at me. What is that? 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 
Tol niet te nemen. Zo, de laatste distance is 12.99. Our next, next athlete will be Pierre Motel from France. So he's almost ready. All right, so now we're loaded up. Pierre Mortel from France. And he's up. He's looking strong in that. He's looking good. Come on, get it all the way. Yeah, it's a bit better. It's higher off the ground and he's into a better stride. He's got a better rhythm. So it looks much better. Well, he's got nine metres. Now it's to the farmers. And he's off. They are horrible farmers. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty difficult. Yeah, they certainly look at it's like carrying, similar like carrying the Dinny stones. No, it's like carrying the messages home from the supermarket. <laughs> He's still fighting it. Good job. Time. Another good effort. Good effort there. Yeah. So let's get a measurement for him. So 23 meters, 70 centimeters. So uh, Pierre, that's the f that's the best so far. <laughs> So ne next up will be Stan Carradine. Stan comes from Colorado. He's used to cold weather. He loves cold weather. Stan, isn't that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love cold weather. <laughs> Stan Carradine heading out there. <laughs> so 
So this is going to be interesting for Stan. How he does with this? Yeah, he's noticed what the other athletes that wasn't high enough off the ground, so he's actually dropped it a hole on the yoke, so he's got a higher lift off the ground. Yeah, you get a better control of it. Yeah. Stan Carradine, USA. Let's go. Come on, Stan. Let's That's go. It. Come on. Come on. Don't drop. Don't drop. Come on, Stan. He Keep took going. off fast with that. You're there. You're almost there. Lost the balance a little bit. Good job. All right, he's halfway. Yeah, yeah. Good on, effort Stan. so far. It's looking good. Come on, Stan. Come on. All right. Yeah. Now he's off to the farmers. Come on, Stan. Come I don't on. think he's going to like these. <laughs> oh, he's struggling with those. He needs to try and stand up straight and get shoulders back and try and get the weight behind him a wee bit. The weight's it's far too far out in front of him and it's pulling him over in front. No, he's he's going to leave it. He's, he, he's going to settle with that. So let's get a measurement for him. One meter fourteen. One meter four zero. Four zero. Four zero. Maxim. So Stan's Karadin's distance is nineteen meters forty centimeters. He is twenty centimeters ahead of Kim. The next one to go will be Maxime Boudreau. Now, I'm expecting Maxime to finish the farmer's walk. What do you think? Well, I actually seen him warming up the farmer's walk and he looked pretty comfortable with him, so there's a good chance he will finish, but to be truthful with you, he might be the only one that will finish. He might struggle with the super yoke a little bit. That's one of his harder, harder events, but he's been working on it. Yeah, well, well, let's wait and see. He's about to go just now. Come on. Go. Maxim is off. Steady. Oh, he's got he, balance. He's, he's got it balanced nice. He's, he's looking good there with 360. Good job. And come back. If he gets us back without dropping it, oh, he has just dropped it, I reckon he'll be the man to beat in this event. And now it's the farmers. He's looking good with them so far. He's looking good. Oh, he's taking a turn with him, he's not even putting him down. Oh, that's impressive, that's impressive. Is he going to finish it? He's going to finish it. That's unbelievable. And he's there. Oh, what a nice Wow. Yeah. Come on, Max. 15 seconds, Max. Come on, D. 
Oh, he's going for distance. So this, I thought it was, I thought it was just up and down. Yeah. That's all. Well, apparently, uh, what happened was it says both implements are supposed to cross the line. So by him, by taking the turn, always inside the line. No. <laughs> Seriously. That's what, what he's saying. The yeah, the implement wasn't over the line. It was ah, still inside the track. So that's what's caught him out then. But defeats. That will still be hard to beat because he's been up and down twice. I know. That's like. Okay. 
So Maxim's distance, uh, he gets credit for the distance because he did the third lap there and got, got the implement all over. So he, he completed the distance just in the time limits. So it's 36 meters. Well, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually surprised he managed to go a third leg with with, the, with, the, with those farmers with the weight and them being awkward and. I still think it's still going to be hard to beat. Well, you know, Bruno here is a tough referee, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. So, well, I wonder who taught him. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, you know, the rule said both implements have to cross the line. So if you take the turn and one implement, even though you yourself is stepping on the line, uh, it's, you know, it's tough. But the rules are rules. Yeah, the rules are the rules, and it's just it's just a shame he was caught out uh, with one of the implements snogging over the line. But I suppose the other athletes now, now know both implements need to cross the line. So now it's Theodor Maur Wimmenson from Iceland. Well, Theodor is looking pretty good with that. Yeah, he's got good balance. He's a big guy, and he's he's got them quite high off the ground, which which stops him swinging as much. So he's halfway with the super yoke. Come on, Teddy! Come on, Teddy! He needs to breathe more. He's holding his breath, and he needs to he needs to suck in there and breathe more. Okay, so now he's off for the farmers. Let's see how he does with these. No, he's, he's finding he's finding this hard. They're horrible farmers, Maggie. Where did you find those things from? I just found these bits and thought it was a fun to put handles on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, that's unfinished. All right. So we'll get a measurement for how far Teldo went. So Theodore did 19 meters. <laughs> Next up is Dennis Colhurst. Dennis Kolfer from Germany, He's next athlete here. Ready? 
Yep, he's got good balance and he's, he's pulling it in, he's got his hands around about the, the sides of the yoke and he's pulling it in to stop it swaying about. Is he going to make it all the way over, without dropping it? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that was a good run, good run with the yoke. That was really good. Now that's going to be interesting, Dennis doesn't have a fantastic grip. So that might give him, be a problem for him. Yeah, but he's, yeah, yeah. he got it up. Is the handles knurled, Maggie? No, they're not. Surprise, surprise. Just make it all the harder. <laughs> Are you still fighting it? Yeah, you can you can throw it another couple of another couple of half meters and get it to so another meter. Oh, that's unfinished. Yeah, he's grip let him down. You were right. Yeah, he's a strong strong man. You know, like but sometimes you know you're never stronger than your weakest link. Exactly. I mean, Bill, you've got likes of Bill Kazma, who used to be super strong, but he didn't have a very good grip, and that's what used to catch him out in certain events. So that's 19 meters, 60 centimeters. The next athlete to go, Sigfus Foster. Sigfus is an experienced competitor. He's, he's been a bit unlucky with injuries. He had his chance at Volsung, his man. And it was a really hard truck pull. And he tore his Achilles tendon. No, 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 no. That's one of the worst, one of the worst injuries you can get. How long ago was that? Uh, about three years ago, I think it was. No. And is he back full strength now? Well, he's uh, he's been on a on a diet. He's been taking really good care of his his diet these days. Some weight. He said he wanted to look sexy in his old age. And you and you speedos. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why Sekfu is wearing those glasses. You think the, uh, his eyes are maybe sensitive for the snow? No, I think he's just in disguise. <laughs> Sefus Fostal, Iceland. And he's off. So far, so good. Yeah, good, fast, straight, no swaying. Yeah, he's looking strong in the yoke. Oh, he's going to drop oh, it, yeah. 
down the hill, he let it run away with him. <laughs> yeah. Tried to go too fast with it. Yeah, let's see how his grip is now. Oh, uh, he missed the line up no, by a little bit. No. <laughs> 40 seconds. 35 seconds. Come on! Move! 30 seconds. Oh. The referee here, Bruno, is not letting get, guys get away with anything. Oh, I see that. <laughs> I think, this, I think he's obviously got problems with his uh, grip in the farmers. Well, usually his grip is okay. Yeah. The handles might be slightly wet. So, but big, big effort. He, did, he didn't yeah. give up. He didn't, yeah. Good yeah. effort. Really kept, good effort. He, he kept fighting in there. Yeah, he dug in. Even though you could see his frustration there. Yeah, you can see the the, must, the handles must be wet, or he's not got enough chalk in his hand, and he's he's lost his grip on them. Yeah, I will get a measurement for him. Twenty meters, eighty. 80 centimeters. 20 meters, 80 centimeters. The yoke is wet. So when I show up, I'm like that. Look at Aldion. 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 20 meters, 80 centimeters. Okay. So we'll start to go more than 20 meters. I'll pull up here. Sick foot. How did that feel? I felt good, but I had everything thought of until I let go of the yoke and realized. The yoke was wet so over my hands. I would have gone further with the farmer if I didn't wet my hands. So, but this is good. I think I'm third right now, so I'm, I'm I'm decently happy with it. But I'm gonna have to take a revenge on those farmers on a later date. But this is so that yoke is a work of art. It's beautiful. Richard Looney did a great job on it. I sure did. I sure did. Well, good luck for the rest of the competition. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Next athlete will be Thomas Darry Thostenson. Next up will be another Iceland competitor here, Thomas Darry Thorstensson. All right, we're getting set. Thomas started Foster's on Iceland. He's ready to go. Come on, Tommy. 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 Come on, Tommy.
And he's off. Oh, got to put it down. Keep moving, keep moving. I think he's injured himself. I think, oh, really? he's, I think he's injured his right foot. Yeah, he's, he's, he's hopefully, hopefully it's nothing serious. Uh, oh, unfortunately, that's the unfortunate things we get sometimes in extreme sports like these. Especially, we get injuries. Especially when the weather conditions and it's cold and you, it's yeah. hard to keep yourself warm. There's always a chance of a, an injury, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be nothing too bad, and hopefully it can continue in the competition. So, uh, and it sounds like Thomas Dari has tore his Achilles tendon. No, 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 another no, no, one. He said uh, he heard, heard the pop, or felt the pop. Well, hope... Maybe it's not torn, maybe it's just, you just, you know, fractured it or pulled, or pulled the muscle. Yeah, hopefully it's not pulled the tendon from the bone and it's maybe just fibres, the muscle fibres that's torn. So let's keep the fingers crossed for Thomas. Yeah. Um, Ja, 
So un unfortunate, unfortunate things happen. Um, so that means Thomas Dari is, is out, out of the competition. Uh, and he gets credited for nine meters in the super yoke. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, the show must go on. We got to finish the cont contest today, this event. Next athlete from Finland, Sami Ahola. He's moving good. He's moving fast. He can't on, let it Jamie. run away from him going downhill now. If we can, if we can keep it if across can the line. Staple it there. Yeah, it's good. He's good. good. Okay. What's his grip like? I don't know. I guess we'll find out how strong his grip is now. Oh, he's looking yeah, good. He's looking strong. This could get into the lead if he, if he makes it back down without dropping these farmers, he could be on the lead. Yeah. 25 seconds. No, he's grips looking strong. Yeah. And he's going to finish the course. Oh, well, well done. Well, to, yeah. well done. Well done. Well done. Wow. Good job. So Sami Ahola's time. 56. Finished in 56. 56. Step up. 56 seconds. Uh, next up three to go, Christian Jon Haraldsson. He's really taking off here. Yeah, it's looking good. He's got it high off the ground and it's, he's got the balance. He's looking good there. And he's made it over the line. So now he's going for the, the stone farmers. Oh, he's fighting those. His steps are maybe slightly big, so it's causing the farmers to dig into his legs more. It's 
crazy film. Oh, he's digging, and he hasn't given up. <laughs> oh, he's trying to go backwards. Come on, come on. <laughs> He got an extra couple of meters. We're going backwards. <laughs> so let's see what they say here. What's the decision? So Christian gets credited for 27 meters. Twenty-seven meters, yes. <laughs> I'm not <good> enough. <laughs> so next athlete will be. Next athletes are Irvin Toots, Estonia. Like I mentioned before, Irvin was actually just competing a couple of days ago. He came, he was in Turkey competing, so he came straight to Iceland. Weather. It was a lot nicer there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dennis, Dennis, you yeah. were in Turkey as well. Yes, yes, yes. I, I was with Ervin there. We had a nice competition, beautiful beaches and, uh, you know, sun. Was it better than these weather conditions? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but this is... Let's go! So, Ervin Tuts with Ervin. the Super Yolk. Oh, he's looking good with it. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's going well. Come on, Come on, Come on, Good run with the yoke. Yeah. The big, I think that's probably the fastest run with the yoke we've seen. Yeah, but the big problem's coming up next. <laughs> Come on, Alvin. Right, now comes the challenge. Yeah, he's, 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 he's taking, getting the hang of it. He's taking smaller steps so they're not banging off his legs so much. It's good, both of them over the line, and he just needs to try and get back with Just them cross now. the line. Just break it. Come on, Abby. Two meters. Just two meters. Very good. Very good. Now 10 He's still fighting it. Yeah. Still another 10 seconds. He can get get a little no, more distance. He's finished. He's nah. finished now. Come on, <laughs> That was another good effort. <laughs> oh, this was hard. So if it wasn't cold enough, it's getting colder. So 28.95. 28 meters, 95 centimeters. 
Ryan England next. The thing is, these farms are not easy to handle. Definitely not. <clears throat> no, it's a big awkward weight, and they're heavy. In these conditions, the wet and the cold, it's no an easy event by any means. I think the guys are doing great, you know, considering the conditions. Yeah, they're doing well. I mean, it's not just cold, it's freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> so... But, uh, but, you know, they knew what they were signing up to. Yeah, but did they know what they were signing up to? <laughs> Maybe they didn't realise. <laughs> Maybe they didn't realise what they were getting themselves into. But the uh, thing is, with Iceland, you know, you can get all four seasons in, in one day. All four seasons in five minutes, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to think that, uh, you know, we should have maybe next time have this on the beach, somewhere warm. What do you think, Forbes? Mm, I'm starting to think we should maybe give it a try ourselves, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we're 80 years too late for that. So, Ryan England. And he's off. Uh, lost it forward there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Now he's got a better balance on it. Going up the hills, catching a few of the guys out. Yeah. And obviously the uneven surface as well. This is this is no an easy event by any means. Ryan, more no, it's not. More pressure. more pressure in your hands. Somebody's saying I really had it in for these athletes. Pressure, yes, yes, yeah, well, yes, that would make sense. It. Not, yes. Nothing ever changes, Maggie. That's, that's you, you're normal. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Finish it. Finish it. Well, Brian, Ryan is having a hard time with this yoke. Yeah, he's, just, he's putting on a big effort here. He's putting on a big, big effort. If he can get it over the line and get to the farmers and get a few metres in the farmers, it will get him good points for the rest of the competition. No, he's uh, finished. He's, he's going to leave it. He's going to leave it. <laughs> so now we'll get his measurements. We only have one competitor left to go. So it's 16 meters, 17, 17, 16 meters, 70. Sixteen meters seventy. Everybody's waiting to for this to get done. <laughs> One more to go today. Then we got two more to go, Forbes. Yeah, but not today because it's way, way too cold. Everybody is desperate for this to get done, to jump into their cars and get a heat. <laughs> well, we, uh, the next two days should be warmer. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what you're saying. Let's just wait and see. <laughs> The last competitor. Hey, for wrinkles on Mel Steph. Oh, I think my fingers are getting numb. Is, is that normal? Well, I, I really don't want to tell you what I've got to go numb. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan England, what happened there? Um, I just misplaced my hands and put on the outside of the yoke instead of side over. <laughs> I didn't have a much upper body tightness, so I kept dropping it and it was slacking off my back. So, beginner's mistake, but we live and learn. Still All a good right. event. Best night, luck next time. Yeah, thank you. So it's eight for Ingles on Melster now. Let's see how he does. He's looking good so far. Yeah, he's steady. Yeah, he's, he's, up, he's up for this competition. You can tell he, he really went for it in the stone lift and he, he's, he's looking strong. He's, he's probably his worst event is Farmer's Walk, actually. Really? Yeah. So let's see how he does with that. Yeah. Is it his grip or is it his... Yeah. He's still fighting it. Yeah, he's fighting it. But it's like he said before, you know, this will be probably his last worst event. Sometimes it's it's better, it's, you know yourself, Maggie, sometimes it's better to get a worst event out the, out the way as quick as you can and then you can concentrate on the rest of your good events. He's still got a little time, he can still get a few, few more centimetres. No. Oh, he's done there. Well, it's still, it's still, a, still a good effort in these conditions. Yeah. And it's, it's a brilliant. It's, every guy put in a great effort considering yeah. the conditions of competing. Oh, yeah. 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 So 23-20, 23-20. So that pretty much concludes this contest here today. And uh, the winner... The winner of the Super Oak and Farmers was Sami Ahola. John, we good or? You good? You good? Yeah. Or you wanna do? Yeah. Or you do an interview or whatever? Or you just wanna? <laughs> Sammy's here. Just, yeah, yeah. just ask him a question. Yeah. You wanna hit him straight that way or? Sami Ahola, congratulations on your win on the Super Oak and Farmer's Walk. How do you feel after that? Pretty good, pretty good. It was better than what I was expecting, but good, good enough. Well, Maxime Boudreau looked good at it, but he did a little mistake that costed him. Yeah, he did, but that was good for me. <laughs> well, you know, that gives you, gave you a better chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, congratulations. Yeah. How do you think uh, you're going to do in the rest of the competitions? Now we've got the uh, 
log medley tomorrow. I know you like the log. Yeah, yeah. I think the best events for me are tomorrow. So hope for top three on the whole competition, but we'll see. We'll see. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. All right, you good? Good. You can just take that. Yep, I sure can. <laughs> All right, tear down and go find some R&R. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and yep. <laughs> Thank you.